So why am I standing in this huge open field in the middle of Parrish, Florida? Well, it's because people think that this could be the next this. And right now I'm standing at Waterside Place here in Lakewood Ranch, and it is absolutely stunning. This beautiful outdoor living, I mean, it's just an incredible communal space. They do marketplaces down here on the weekend. I'm walking right past the Good Liquid Brewery right here. You've got restaurants and shops and boutiques all around you. And now you can see why people are so excited. Now, it wasn't long ago that the Sperry streets that I'm standing on was nothing but dust and fields. There's nothing there but dust. And it wasn't surrounded by this gorgeous community that you see in front of you today. And this is what's got people so excited about the prospect of Parrish, Florida. They're thinking that Parrish, Florida could become the next Lakewood Ranch. Now, there are people who believe that Lakewood Ranch has become a little unaffordable. Yeah, yeah, stop it, stop it. Nope, nope, can't afford it. Because of that, they started looking for other options and they started to tap into this area around Parrish. Now, Parrish is more of a suburb of Florida. Lakewood Ranch is more of a suburb of Sarasota, but they're only 20 minutes apart and this is part of that attraction. So we're gonna get into all these things today. I would love to know if you, right, if you're local, do you consider these things like the other or do you think that people have lost their minds i'd love to know in the comments below let us know what you guys think let's get into it right now and if we've never met before my name is juan alcala i'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the true living group and we help people just like you buy sell relocate and invest here in the tampa bay area if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team all of my contact information is listed down below you can call text email heck you can even dm me on instagram there's also a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time that's most convenient for you. Just know when it comes to making a move to the area that me and my team, we've got your back. We've got a great video planned for you today. And before Marsha and I take you back out of the community, I just wanted to give you some highlights. We're gonna talk about North River Ranch, an awesome community. We've done an entire video on it before, but we wanna take you back out there because the development is just growing like crazy and you're gonna love it. We're gonna take you over to Del Webb, which is a retirement community. And we're gonna take you to the most exciting new community in Manatee County period, Sea Air, which is the new lagoon community being developed by Metro Places. You're going to love it. And let's jump right into it. Right now we are standing on, as you guys can see, a construction zone. Thank you, Captain Obvious. But we're standing on the grounds that Metro Places is going to develop the brand new Sea Air community, uh, the lagoon. And for, for those of you who aren't aware, We've done multiple videos on these lagoon communities. There's one up in Epperson, right? There's uh, one in Murata, which is 15 acres, it's unbelievable. Um, there is another one in Wyomama, which they opened up that South Shore Bay. And they are working on another community up in Angeline, but they're bringing one to Manatee County as well. So we're standing here today at the brand new Sierra. Marsha, talk to us about all the cool things that is gonna come here. We're gonna give you guys all kinds of visuals. I cannot wait to share this with you, but Marsha's gonna give you all the details. Talk to us about what they're gonna put in this gorgeous community they're building. Well, I can tell you Manatee County is very excited about this new community. It's um, going to have over 3,000 new homes. And most exciting is a four and a half acre lagoon, something we don't have in Manatee County. Um, the location is right off I-75, about a mile and a half east of I-75. So close. Absolutely. So how many homes are scheduled to be built here? 3,000. 3,000. And the builders that are going to be developing in the community? Um, they're going to have Lennar, D.R. Horton, Biscayne, and Dream Homes. And Dream Homes. That's awesome. And it's a three 3,000 homes in total, I think, is, yeah. what, is that's yeah. on schedule? They're starting um, with 600 acres in the first phase that's going to have over 1,800 homes, and then they'll continue on. In 2025, they're going to start the second phase. Which is going to be another 1,000 homes. Is that yeah, thousand? over 1,000. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be a bit beautiful community. Four and a half acres of lagoon is going to be. This is a resort style lagoon. When we say lagoon, if you've never seen these things before, they are incredible. They literally have a sandy beach. You can kayak and paddleboard in the lagoon. I mean, think of it this way, y'all. You're bringing the beach to your backyard because how far is it to, you know, Anna Maria Island or it's a good, beach? It's a good half hour from here. Yeah. So it, in order to get that beach to your backyard, you got to do something unique. And these lagoon communities, Metro the Metro developments have done an excellent job. These communities are unbelievable. If you ever get a chance to go, they are semi-private, right? So if, if you live in the community, you're gonna pay CDD fees and uh, a lagoon fee to the community. It's right around 41 bucks. We don't know what this one is yet, but the other ones are $41. That's what they've been so far. 
and then they sell some tickets to the public and that is to help keep the cost down guys so like yeah it's semi-private as an owner you do get ex there are exclusive member benefits that you get you're going to get first right of, uh on cabanas and those types of things but you can do so much here they have a swim pool they have an obstacle course they have the giant slide i mean there's just so much to love about these lagoon communities yeah. they're absolutely incredible so to be bringing one here in paris this is a reason why I've been saying that I think Parrish is becoming the new Lakewood Ranch. And I know that's a lot to say. And people <laughs> living in Lakewood Ranch right now are rolling over. But that is Parrish's goal. They're doing a great job here in Manatee County. Would you agree? I totally agree. I think something that Parrish has to offer is um, better than Lakewood Ranch is it's even closer to Tampa and St. Pete. So you can jump on I-75 and be up to St. Pete in less than a half hour um, downtown area. And then I would say... Um, Tampa is probably like to the airport, maybe 40 minutes. Yep. So it offers a closeness that Lakewood Ranch does not. To yep. that area. And we're right off of what road, Marsha, here? What is this road we're on? Moccasin Wallow. Yep. Right across the street here. You got Del Webb literally right across the street. And then North River Ranch is just right around the corner of the development right. there, too. So. Correct. And they're putting in a hospital and all types of shopping. Every time you drive down this road, there's something new. Yep. It, and it's growing quick. The Publix grocery store is about two minutes to, and that's only because you have to turn left onto the main road. Because <laughs> it is literally right there, which is awesome. I mean, it's a great community here. Super convenient. Ellington outlets are just a few minutes away. So much to enjoy here, but great community. I love this. Thanks for sharing this, Marsha. You're welcome. I love it. So let's talk a little bit about shopping here because it's one of the first questions we always get asked. And you've got a brand new Publix being built directly across the street from North River Ranch, which is awesome. You've got a Publix right off of Moccasin Wallow Road and I-75. You've got another Publix right across the street from Commons Creek. And then you, of course, have the Ellington outlets, which isn't too far away. I know it's not Parish, but it's right around the corner, y'all. You've got Aldi. Home Goods, Lowe's, uh, there's a Planet Fitness over there. They're putting in new breweries. I mean, there's all kinds of things to take advantage of. And if you just pop over I-75, you can go have lunch at the Grayson, which is one of my favorites. Actually, let's take you over there right now. Marsha and I are gonna head into the Grayson for lunch. I came here two weeks ago and I had the best fish tacos. I cannot wait. Um, they were delicious. And there's also a Baycare uh, urgent care here, which is great. I'll show you guys this on the way out too, but show you these delicious fish tacos. You're not going to be disappointed at all. Incredible. Oh yeah. Hey, Marcia, what did we get here? Well, I had to get the fish tacos because you've been talking about them I, all day. <laughs> I know, right? So we're at the Gracie, y'all. This is actually in Palmetto, but it's literally right next door to the lagoon and everything that is in Parrish right there. So it's gorgeous. Look at this. I mean, that piece of fish is enormous. Oh my word. All right. He's a wonderful tail. Hey, too. How are the fish tacos? Oh, they were awesome. So good. I can't wait to come back and eat more. I never <laughs> eat three tacos. When you go to a place and they give you three tacos, I never do. I always feel like over full and they just weren't good. But they're the perfect size. They give you a huge chunk of fish. It's not one of those like, like get away with a little. There was a huge chunk, like literally a three ounce piece of fish in there. All fresh ingredients. And the French fries were incredible too. So yeah, the it was fries amazing. were a surprise, but they were phenomenal. Yeah, it was great. You will not be disappointed. Make sure you check it out. As you can see, there's so much new construction happening out here. These are brand new apartment buildings. I-75 is literally right on the other side of this. Um, and this is uh, right at the corner of 52nd Avenue and 96th Street. And then the Grayson is right behind it. So you can literally walk behind here. There's a walking path here, which is great. And this takes you back out to Moccasin Wallow Road. Awesome area. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is proximity and location. Okay, so Parrish and Lakewood Ranch are roughly 20 minutes apart. It can take longer during high traffic time. So be mindful of that. You're about 40 minutes away from downtown Tampa, 35 minutes to downtown Sarasota. You're 30 minutes away from downtown St. Pete. And if you've never been down there, it's awesome. It's a great place to go have date night. You're about 35 minutes away to St. Pete Beach and roughly 35 to 40 minutes away from Holmes Beach as well. So it's really conveniently located. It's in the southeast quadrant of the greater Tampa Bay area. So just to give you a little bit of perspective, we'll show it on the map here. So hopefully that helps out. All right, we're at the Dell Webb Amenity Center here. Marsha, they actually have a grill out back too, right? Oh yeah, they have a restaurant, a bar. It's very nice. Awesome. We're gonna get inside and check this out, y'all. It's huge. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That. So as you can see, 
great pool here, spa style pool, water features galore, beautiful inside space. And there's a restaurant here, which is pretty incredible. So now you're looking at the outdoor space at the Sailfish Grill, which is pretty cool. The restaurant is inside. But as you look around here, that is screened, which is pretty awesome. Now back here, you've got your own deck area. There's a dock out there you can fish from. And then this is awesome. So right here is Astro Turf. This is artificial turf. They've got it covered, keep you out of the sun, which is awesome. Down there, they got some cornhole, and as you can see, plenty of amenities out back. Just incredible view here. Del Webb has really got it covered. It's the reason why people love these communities, right? You got the resort style pool, which is just absolutely awesome. Trees are gorgeous. And then the inside, as you saw, was absolutely stunning too. And what a great place. I mean, you don't even have to live, leave your own neighborhood to go have a bite to eat. Pretty awesome. Oh yeah. There's a gym here as well. Yeah. So this space right That's here is stunning. Okay. I mean, check out Come Lounge. Yeah, that's nice. Great. They have like a studio for yoga and dance. Oh yeah. It's awesome. Great conference room you can rent out. KitchenAid appliances, everything's very nice. Great place to host a cooking class or an event, birthday party. This is really cool. This is what they're calling the studio here, the art studio. Marsha, they they uh, definitely don't cheap out on the amenities for. No, they don't. Unbelievable. Fancy golf carts too. Right. Tennis courts back here as well. And then of course pickleball, which is America's new Baby. new love, right? <laughs> Absolutely the new pastime. And I love when they, they attention to detail, right? So like here is the score counter for the bocce ball court, which is very cool. Benches to sit. Yeah. To there's six courts here. So there's three here. There's three on the other side there as well. So that's six uh, pickleball courts. And then I believe there's six tennis courts as well. So you're definitely not missing out here. What a great area, Marsha. Now you see why people are always like, Del Webb, Del Webb, Del Webb's a great place to go hang out. So this is a 55 plus community, keep that in mind. But as you guys are well aware, North River Ranch is not. Also, Sea Air will have both a mix of 55 plus and single family homes that are wide open to everybody. So you got more than enough options in that respect. Uh, you're not gonna be let down in terms of housing. We're in the stellar model here inside of Del Webb. This home is beautiful. Marsha, can you tell us a little about the community, what types of properties we find here, and how much we should expect to pay? Sure. Del Webb has a variety of homes here from villas ranging um, in the 1,500 square feet range up. They have two car garages, and it's a side-by-side -side villa, which is awesome and very popular in the area. But they also have single-family homes going all the way up to 3,300 square feet. So there's a lot of choices here um, and a lot of different uh, types of layouts and floor plans that they offer. I really like the Dell Web community for not only their homes, but the amenity center like we had, we just showed you. So it's awesome. Um, price ranges start from the low, or I'm sorry, the high 300s and go all the way up into the 700s. Yep. And they're building how many units so far have they have in here? Right now they have 579 and they're going up to 900. So they're over halfway done. Yep. So great opportunity to come in. Again, this is going to be right across the street from Sea Air now. Yeah. So you're going to have your own lagoon. But I mean, this community is awesome to begin with. You just saw the amenity center and the, check out this pool, man. Great water feature, good size pool, just beautiful. Home. You know, back out a little bit, y'all, so you can catch a little bit more of this. Trade ceilings, the whole thing. Let's check out this master really quick while we're in here, because I think it's worth a look. Oh yeah, same ceilings here. Love. It's a Cali King, but it gives you perspective on how much room is actually in here. It's, it's kind of tricky. When we use the cameras, we're obviously using wide angle lenses and you catch just about everything. But as you can see, this is not a small bedroom by any stretch of the imagination. Carry this back out. 
to that beautiful pool again. Dead quiet. You can't hear anything happening in here. Just love this. Let's check out this bathroom really quick too. Because it is stunning. <laughs> the closet's bigger than all of my bedrooms till I bought my first house. Oh my word. I'm pretty sure there's an 11 foot ceiling in that closet. It is not small. So I'm out here at the North River Ranch Dog Park. This is a two and a half acre dog park. Off leash, you can run wild. There's a tunnel back there. You can see it's incredible. Uh, communities directly across the street here. And this is one of those spots. I've got a dog, I've got a, a giant Doberman and she loves to run. And there are very few places in our neighborhood because we're so close to the beach where you can do that. Like we don't have a dog park like this. So this is one of the things I absolutely love about these newer communities. They've really thought through all the things. It's not just about you know, the house, it's about the house, the pool, the schools, the, the shopping, the amenities, like the dog park, the tot lots you have. Um, you know, there's so much to offer in these communities. I just love it. So love this. I think it's fantastic. You are not going to be disappointed at North River Ranch at all. Now we've done an entire video on this community. I would encourage you to go back and check that. I'll actually put that in the description below, but I love this community. They've got three different neighborhoods that they've already built out in this development with a, a, a few more on the way. They're working on Camp Creek right now, which I love. They've got Brightwood, Riverfield, and Wildleaf that are already done. And right now I'm standing in front of the Brightwood Amenity Center here. And uh, just, just quick, you got the pool inside. There is a space inside that you can rent for parties and those types of things. There is a tot lot right here on the side you can see. And then over to the side here, there's actually a field large enough for you to come throw the ball around with the kids. They've got a soccer net over there, which I think is awesome. These huge, I mean, this is an extra wide um, walkway, which I love. And the entire community is built out this way. You've got uh, Dash Bark Park, which is the dog park, huge area over there. Um, and the dogs can run crazy, go nuts. And I love stuff like that. When I'm looking at newer communities, places that I would can like to consider living myself, areas like Parish, you know, this is the type of thing that I am looking for. Now, this community here does have a lot to offer. Bunch of different home builders. You got Homes by West Bay. We've sold a few of those here. You've got Pulte Home Builder, David Weekly, um, KB Homes. There's more than a few to name here and more on the way. Neil's here as well. Great property there. We've got another one under contract with those. If you've got any questions about Parish, Florida, considering making a move here, relocating the area, this or Lakewood Ranch that we mentioned earlier, anywhere in Tampa Bay, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. We'd be more than happy to jump on a Zoom call, have a conversation, help you make a qualified decision if this is going to be the right move for you. All of my contact information is listed below, including a link to my calendar. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.